Since today is the Vyas Puja celebration of His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj, please also share some realization for our purification. Ah, uh, Gopal Krishna Maharaj, uh, I know him uh, since uh, uh, 1993 September when he came to uh, IIT Delhi to the house of uh, Krishna Sir. and um, we had the honor to serve him prasadam also and uh, and because uh, you know you know maharaj always gave importance uh, to those who were studying in uh, high profile colleges and uh, so since i was from IIT so whenever he would see me he would always tell uh what do you think lila purushottam about this project because during those days in 1993 you know for us the attraction is brindavan because in brindavan all westerners the westerners were not you know they they vanished suddenly after kadamkanan maharaj left because there was an attempt to shoot him and he left vrindavan and since then literally and mamman prabhu came and since that you know in vrindavan you won't see uh, uh, foreign devotees so otherwise earlier and it was fascinating to be in vrindavan those days so when we used to go uh, to delhi temple we will see five ten devotees and uh, only l- a person whom we can converse is uh, mohan rup prabhu he was a little young and a little educated and uh, so and gopal krishna maharaj he had lot of responsibilities uh, he had responsible for vrindavan uh, delhi mumbai and and then there are other things which i cannot tell you because you are all new fights uh you'll not be able to understand uh but he would always say is this project is not uh, don't you think this is a pride of india and i you know i am just one or two year old in in my devotional life in within iskan and i could feel his innocence he and uh so he always asked this question many times he has asked me until you know the project was completed in 1998 atul bihari vaspai uh, uh uh came that time the uh, he was the prime minister and uh, he came uh, to inaugurate and uh, so one of the uh thing i used to have with maharaj is that during those days we used to have uh, vrindavan parikrama and during vrindavan parikrama uh maharaj exactly 7 o'clock he will start 7 or 7:15 i have forgotten he would start chanting uh you know we are all chanting in our bed but suddenly he will chant uh, uh guru puja prayer sri guru sri sri guru charana padma kevala bhakate sadma vandamoi savadana mate and uh, so maras was always one of the thing that you would see uh maras never uh, took things for granted uh, uh he uh you know he would never miss mangalarti he will never miss taking prabhupad all across on the prabhupad disappearance day uh, uh you know all across the uh, 
Vrindavan uh, Vaishnava temples, that is uh, the Gaudiya temples. Uh, so he would not miss all those things. In fact, uh, once I participated, and at some point in time I came out. And later Mara saw me and said, why you are not there? Uh, so, so that, I think this discipline is something uh, Maharaj has imbibed very strongly. That uh, commitment to morning program, commitment to this. They may appear to be, see uh, within ISKCON, uh, people don't give Maharaj as a scholastic people because Maharaj has not written book or he gives classes and everything, but he, he doesn't do because he has so much of administrative responsibilities. But uh, he is very, very strict to disciplined uh, spiritual life. And that is uh, uh, on the day Vaishnava Maharaj was uh, given sannyas around 11 o'clock or 11.30, Bhakti Charu Maharaj called him and he was not even able to speak uh, the day before. And, uh, and but next day when Maharaj uh, gave sannyas to Vaishnava Maharaj and Jana, Janardhan Maharaj, he was completely all right. It didn't appear that it will happen. So Maharaj, uh, you know, this bad throat I have been seeing from many, many years. But it is amazing that he continues, he speaks with that bad throat. I remember once uh, he was here in Kanpur. I had a very wonderful past, uh, wonderful association with Maharaj. When we were taking care of uh, uh, Iskan Kanpur, before I, we shifted to the main uh, land in Kanpur, uh, I was actively involved with the devotees here. And, uh, and the model town, nothing was happening. Sometime Bhaktivinoda Thakur, uh, Bhaktivinoda Prabhu was uh, living, but nothing was happening. We used to go there and do some kirtan. I used to take people from here in IIT and we used to do kirtan there, sankirtan there. And then we were thinking that we will shift uh, that place from that place to a different place and there are some options were there. And once Maharaj came and he went to different places and, and showed him and Maharaj took notice. Okay, you can do this, you can do this. And he gave certain suggestion. But of course, later I, I, the idea came to me is that why have to go here or here or here? Why not directly uh, to, to the land? And that is how we shifted. One of the very intimate moments with uh, my uh, Maharaj is that uh, in 1998, I was uh, thinking because uh, in 1997, I was supposed to leave for America because uh, Rompad Maharaj wanted me to join him uh, and he had planned many, many uh, service for me. But unfortunately, this is the, the biggest uh, uh, lamentation that I would have I would have because of hearing some idiots, I didn't do it. But but after 97, I, I had resigned from Bits Pilani. Again, I joined. But after one year, I didn't it, it I didn't feel like staying any further in Bits Pilani. So that time I was thinking, what should I do? And uh, and then Mahaman Prabhu told that you go and become the temple president in uh, Lucknow. He personally took me. Uh, in his car uh, to Lucknow and I saw I didn't like that place because by that time my you know I'm so stupid I don't remember why I became so stupid my false ego is so high probably uh, I have seen those big temples of uh, ISKCON Bangalore you know when ISKCON Bangalore temple opened I was there uh, for I stayed there for 11 days and that is the time I was supposed to leave for Newark. And I was getting trained by Chanchalapati Prabhu. And every day he will, I'm, I was hearing his lectures and he will send me to different uh, Bhakti Vruksha program and so forth. And 
and i have seen such big project when i saw this small place near uh, uh, in uh, uh, station i say this is not good so anyway and then we came back uh, even uh, vaishnav maharaj also was there and he was very enthusiastic he says you take off this service uh, and uh, and then unfortunately i uh, now i came back and then uh, i met gopal krishna maharaj and said and then there was discussion mahaman prabhu said that i took him and i thought that he should uh, he should become temple president in lucknow and uh, and that is the time when uh, uh mara said no let him develop the temple project in kanpur because prabhupada wanted very much a temple in kanpur and this is the again dubious thing happened in my life when i was doing everything right in kanpur in the middle i left it and went to uk and that two years was completely waste of my life if i would have been there then probably would have taken care of kanpur temple but anyway that is another story uh, so there was a connection uh, between yeah so one thing you know you will never miss maharaj in mangalarti he will be there every day in mangalarti so discipline uh, this is something that is a hallmark of maharaj and he is a very humble person uh, serving 50 years in the moment he has remained uh, humble and uh, okay we can go on speaking about maharaj a lot uh, from my perspective and uh, i think i should stop here thank you for asking uh, to speak on maras bespuza day thank you very much <laughs>